Cuckoo everyone, I hope that you're doing great and that everything is going well for you. Today I am going to show you some of the meals that I had for breakfast during 5 days of the week. We are going to start uh, with Monday and I had some egg burrito. Here I am cutting some celery that I am going to mix with some onion, eggs, uh, curry, onion powder, garlic salt, uh, as well as a little bit of mayonnaise and mustard. This uh, type of breakfast, I had it once uh, because my friend made it for me. It was very good. And I am trying to recreate what he did, but uh, I didn't have all of the spices that he used. But this one was very good. I really liked it. The special ingredient in this one is the curry powder. I never thought that I could use some curry powder with eggs and mayonnaise. And trust me, I really loved that one and it tasted really good. I ate it with some uh, faita bread and then I think I had some water or tea with it. On to the next meal. Now it is Tuesday. It is very cold. I decided to make some spinach soup and in order to do that I fried some Haitian seasonings with some onions. I then added the spinach with some garlic salt as well as some allspice for seasonings. I mixed everything and then I covered the spinach in order to dehydrate it. After a few minutes, I uncovered the spinach. I added some flour in order to make a thick broth. I was supposed to fry the flour but I was lazy. I just added it and mixed it with the spinach and then I added some water and let it boil. I followed that by adding some milk and some heavy cream and of course some cheese. Make sure to use some vegetarian cheese. The difference between vegetarian cheese and other cheese is that the vegetarian cheese is made with culture enzymes instead of taking the enzyme from the stomach of the cow. This soup was very delicious and comforting. I added some lemon juice and that was so good. Now we are on the third day which is Wednesday. I decided to make some mango with some omelette. I had some leftover plantain that I boiled the day before. So I decided to reboil them and then make an omelette. In order to make the omelette I used some mushrooms, some tomatoes as well as some spinach that I fried with some garlic salt and then I added some onions, red pepper as well as some scotch bonnet pepper. For the eggs I used some parsley and some scotch bonnet pepper. I mixed everything, seasoned it with some garlic salt and I fried the egg. As for the mango, if you do not know what it is, it is just some boiled plantain that you mashed with uh, the water that you used to boil the plantain and then you also add some garlic as well as some salt, some butter and some vinegar. It is very good. This dish is from the Dominican Republic and it was one of my roommates who made it for me once. I really liked it. So it is something that I eat from time to time. Entonces, ¿por qué no practicar el español un poquito? A mí me gusta el mango con plátanos verdes, pero hay algunas personas que le gustan con plátanos maduros. After eating the mango, I forgot to eat uh, on the following day. 
so I didn't make a breakfast on Thursday so right now you are looking what I cook on Friday I decided to make some golden milk I used some turmeric uh, black pepper nutmeg cinnamon cloves as well as some vanilla I boiled the, the spices and then I added some milk and some heavy cream. After that, I filtered everything and then I added some sugar. If you like some agave syrup, you can do that as well. And then I made a sandwich with the leftover egg that I prepared on Wednesday. I added some mustard and some uh, mayonnaise. It was so good. Oh my gosh and the milk was so comforting it was another cold day I love that breakfast now we are on the last day this is Saturday I decided to make some pate cote and coffee the pate cote is just a Haitian dish it is just some patties that you fry in order to make the dough, I use some flour as well as some salt water. That's it. I knead everything and then until I get a dough that is not sticky. So what you should do, you should keep on kneading the dough until it does not leave anything on your hands. So you can keep on adding some flour until you get a firm dough. After that, I flatten the dough until I get a very thin uh, sheet that I will use in order to make the cover for the fillings that I am going to use to make the pâté cordée. So now for the filling, I use some mushrooms, some tomatoes that I seasoned with some jerk uh, seasonings. It is very spicy and I really like it. I fried the mushroom and I made sure to remove most of the water from the mushrooms. I then added uh, some onions and I let it cook. Once the filling is ready, I used the sheet, I put it on a plate, I added the filling with some cheese and then I closed everything. After that, I fried them in some oil. By the way, guys, we do not use mushrooms for pate cote in Haiti. We either use some boiled eggs or some smoked herring. We can use some hot dog or some meat, some type of meat. It can be chicken or anything. And then we also use some spicy coleslaw that is made with cabbage, uh, scotch bonnet pepper, carrots vinegar salt it is very 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 good one day i will show you how to make it and this was what i ate in a week for breakfast 